Hi guys. Today I'm going to review um, a series of fight of uh, clips of fights uh, that Miguel had, uh, my brother Miguel in the black and gold, um, to kind of highlight some of the things he does really well. Um, the, for this first one is about how far uh, how he can lunge really well. So we'll just play it at speed first. Uh, so you see, he just kind of steps in, lunges. You can see it's really far. Let's go ahead and play it back and kind of talk about some of what he does that makes that really cool. So the first thing that was interesting about this uh, this attack was um, his advance. So he takes one small advance forward, there, just a normal advance step, and then he fakes like he's going to take another just small step. But as you can see, his heel comes down, kind of touches the ground there, but his weight never really sets. And then his right here. He pushes off with his back leg and extends forward. So his opponent thinks that he's just taking a small step forward, but but actually he's a uh, he's lunging. So it kind of fakes the opponent out. And then you can see how far this uh, this lunge is, and how he pretty much creates this straight line through his body. Uh, this gives him a lot of range. He's just using all of the range he has, um, and reaches really far. The opponent was not expecting. So it's a really nice, perfect form there. Uh, so we'll just keep going. Uh, this next clip is kind of how he's really hard to tell where his blade is going to be, and he can disengage really well. So we'll play that back again, too. Um, and you see he steps in, does a little, little disengage with his sword, a little flourish, and boom, hits his opponent. And this move is he can kind of, he does this, and he can vary it and kind of decide where he wants to go depending on how his opponent reacts. And this one, his opponent gives him the center line, and so he just throws there. The other really nice thing is, his, you can see here, um, his dagger is uh, covering his opponent's blade, too. So, so he's safe the whole time, which makes this kind of move hard. A lot of people can throw these nice offensive attacks, but then they, their defense uh, falls apart when they're doing it. But not with Miguel. He, uh, he stays safe while he's doing these really uh, complex attacks. So we'll go ahead and just keep going. Uh, this next clip here, and that was really fast, but you can see it's the fact that he n he can read his opponent really well, and he knows what his opponent is uh, what opponent what shot his opponent is going to throw really early as they're attacking him. So as you can see, as soon as his opponent starts the shot, he's already covering the line with his dagger and a cross parry, and then he throws under their hand. Um, but the second that their sword starts to extend, he's already covering with the dagger, you can see there. So really nice. And then his timing of his counter, uh, counter shot is almost perfect there, too. Really nicely done there. Keep going. Uh, and uh, this one is a fight, actually, I, uh, that I'm his opponent. Um, so you can see, I step in. I step in. He beats me down. And he comes back to center line and hits me in like in the chest, neck area really fast, transitioning from being low with his sword being low like that to being straight on attacking. That's really hard to do. He does it really fast. Normally I can parry that shot, but he totally punishes me for it. Super good. Um, this is another example of how he can read what his opponent's going to do really early. We'll play that again. So you can see once again, as soon as his opponent starts that shot. He's covering the line with his dagger, throwing back. I think his timing is even better on this one. And you can see how little he moves there. He's not really concerned. He knows he's safe. He doesn't need to overreact. Perfect defense. Counterpunch. Perfect timing. There's not much you can do to stop that kind of stuff. And then this one is just the fact that even when you have him on the ground, you still can't beat him. His defense is good. Covers perfectly. Throws back. He does a little a little hand a little fist pump there. So we'll play that one back at half speed so you can get a better look at that. So I'm throw, parry up, parry across, counter. Yeah. So, conclusion, Miguel is really hard to beat. Uh, he's one of the better fighters, he's one of the best fighters I've ever fought, ever seen fight. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm planning on making more kind of like this in this style, so uh, subscribe to my channel for uh, more videos like this.